Hey friends, today I wanted to share with you, I'm just playing here in my studio and I just have to tell you, number one, thank you to all of you that do follow me. I It's really important to me that um, I don't just have followers, but you guys are so engaging and supportive and fun and inspire me with so many fun things. Um, you guys are the best. I never knew getting on here a year ago how much fun I would really have here. I had no idea what to expect. On another note, um, I'm always shocked when different companies, I don't, not a, there's not a lot of them because <laughs> I'm still quite small here. I'm a small fish in a vast ocean of incredible artists. But as you know, um, Paul Rubens sent me something at Christmas that was so beautiful. I was just, oh gosh, I, I don't even know the word. And then recently, oh hoo hoo, um, thank you so much, Ohuhu, for your graciousness. Sent me all of those um, alcohol markers, which I've really been playing with, but I want to make sure I get some good ways to share it with you. And with those, they also sent me these little fine line drawing pens, which I love and I know a lot of you love as well. They're waterproof, fade resistant. They don't smear, which I really appreciate. And they gifted me this eight pack. Thank you again so much, Ohuhu. Um, and you know what? To be honest, the name of their company is just kind of fun to say. <laughs> so they, I'm going to play with these and just do some little one line drawings of a couple little flowers and maybe a little bee because I think it's really fun. And I see a lot of you doing just some abstract washes. And these might be fun to put over those washes. Now, I'm actually using, I love this sketch pad. It's, it's a premium one. I've shared it with you before. Um, Acid-free. It's got perforated sheets, which I love. It's a little bit large, but that's okay because I do things all over it. Now, um, I will share with you, oh, who, who gave me a book, which is great for the markers, but I'm not going to use them for this because... Um, I tend to do this. I don't know why. It's like I'm afraid I'll never get one of these again. And I hate to write in here and use them all. But I mean, look at that, you guys. I don't know. It's it's a state of mind. <laughs> Maybe coming from when I was a little girl and didn't have a lot. But so I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use this little sketch pad here. What I want to do first is, number one, take all these out. I tend to like, in my Micron pens, I tend to like the eight let's just see if what these are okay so here's let's start with the lowest one 0 0.1 and figure out which ones i want to use here Ooh, that is really a fine fine tiny point let me show you i'm going to try and zoom in here for you so Wow, that is really a fine point. I don't even know if you can see that, which could be really great. I actually love it. So there is the 0 0.1. Now let's do another. Let's go to the next one. This is important to me. I think I always do this with my markers, with everything, because I really want to see what I'm getting into. So that one almost looks the same. That looks about the same. And then let's go to three. I'm really kind of excited to see what the bold is. I typically use a 0 0.8 in the microns. So 0 0.3. Oh, now there I'm starting to see a difference. I don't know if you can pick that up in the... Oops, let me scoot my camera a little bit closer. So that's the 0 0.3, and I'm I'm seeing some difference there. Let's go to the 0 0.4. Let's see where. Oh, funny. I don't see a 4. Interesting. There's a 0 0.5 and a 0 0.05. Let's see. That is probably even zero so this one is 0 0.5 oh now that is i definitely see a difference darker um definitely thicker 
let's go for the 0 0.05. That's probably thinner than that. Oh my goodness. Wow, you can't even see the point on that. 0 0.05, which actually should have came before the one. That is really a fine point. I think it could be really beautiful um, for drawing some very fine little details in your flowers. I wish I had a flower here I could show you, but that could be really beautiful. So that's a good one. That's a first for me. Um, let's see. We've got... Uh, is zero point. Oh, I did zero point one. Hold on. Let's see here. I just mixed those up. So this one, this one. Okay. Then it jumps to zero point seven. Let's try that one out. Oh, definitely a difference. It's getting darker. Yeah. And. Then it jumps to 1.0. One, oh, goodness. And this is almost like a little bullet tip. I actually like that. It feels a little bit more like markerish. So that could be fun. And then their last one is a B, I'm going to assume for bold. And that looks like it almost has a brush tip. It does. So the it has a little bit more of a brush tip. So I could get thin if I hold it straight up or if I tilt it. Look at that. So that's kind of cool. Not sure if I'd ever necessarily use that one because typically I'm going to go for probably the 0 0.7 um, for my ink, um, pen and ink. So there we go. Let's play now. Let me move my palette out of the way here. And let's play. I, I took a class years ago in um, what they call one line drawing. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. And it's really quite fun. I actually took a portrait class one time or anatomy. And they brought in a, an artist that sat in our room and they told us to start with our pen on the in one place and don't lift our pen and it you should try it and just go around what you see without looking at your paper just look at the subject and you'd probably be surprised how well you do I was kind of I remember I was kind of surprised well today I'm gonna do let's do some flowers um, my absolute favorite now I have to think about this okay because you got to kind of plan out how you're going to do it because you don't want to lift your pen. And this is really fun, you guys. If there's ever a time when you don't know what to do, do something like this. Grab a flower and let's do this. Okay, here we go. So my stem. And then I'm going to do the little center. And then I want to go into my petals. This can be really fun. I enjoy this. And you might have to practice this because things can get a little wonky. So coming back, like right there, I really, oops, now I just lifted my pen, but I'll go back. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you know, I really should have planned this petal to the side. So just picking up from where I left off, I'm gonna do a leaf. And there we go. Look how fun that is. I love the organic feel. I think this would be really cute in some little cards. Let's try a tulip because I think that could be somewhat easy. So let me think about it a little bit here. Um, okay, let me see how I might approach this. So coming up with my stem and let's see, let's do, I'm going to have to probably double back somewhere here just like that and then back down and let's do a leaf. So 
So there you go, look how fun that is. And you know, do some little curlies and swirls. I think that's fun. Let's do another one here. Um, this is an easier one. Okay. You guys have probably done some version of this. And these are those little sepals that come out back down and a petal. And there you go, so much fun. And this really gets you kind of in the flow. Some of you have asked me about, you know, how do I loosen up? This would be a great way. Just go in, let yourself kind of draw and have fun. Let's try a B. Okay, this is gonna be, I gotta think about this. Um, okay. Let's start with his little bee body. Make some little wings and then his little head, but I need to do the antennae. That was a little bit long, probably longer antennae than really they are. <clears throat> and then, oopsie. And then his head double back so I can get back out. Now I have to go into his other wing and then have fun with his body. So we have those lines and then let's do like that. There we go. Kind of fun, right? So kind of uh, you know, look at a picture. I actually have my little bee here and then just see how you can make it um, all in one line and don't get too nitpicky if you have to double back over a line that's fine but like right here you know do some swirls um so i think that's that's good i kind of like those anyways thank you again i'm gonna write it right here that is something else by the way i want to learn one day is how to uh, do calligraphy and these pens would probably be good for it, the brush pen. Um, thank you, Ohuhu, for recognizing your small artists. I can't wait to share with you the, um, the uh, markers they have, the alcohol markers. I'm having a lot of fun, but I just want to make sure I have something um, a little bit comprehensive to share with you. And I hope you give these a try. I think these are perfect for when you don't know what to draw or paint just to get and get your juices flowing and again thank you oh hoo hoo thank you to all of you guys i love you guys are the best you literally have made my artistic world so much more fun all right we'll see you soon bye oh by the way um uh i will put all of these uh art supplies that i'm using down in the description okay I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.